The NVIDIA GeForce application has been overdue a facelift for quite some time and well NVIDIA finally did it with their new NVIDIA app that's currently in beta. This right here aims to replace both the NVIDIA control panel and the NVIDIA GeForce experience to unify them both into this all-in-one application. And well so far I can tell you right now that this has already replaced GeForce experience for myself. As well one it does already look better you can see it's a way more modern design that just looks really clean and simple. Two, it functions way better as well. Everything you click it loads up instantly and there's zero lag. It's just overall way more responsive. And three, it's got a ton of new features such as this new driver section that gives you a ton of information of what's new and what's been fixed with the latest drivers. It's got a new optimization section where you can literally optimize any game with one click. The in-game overlay where you can capture your gameplay and obviously record has been improved where you can now record at 100 20 fps that i love got a new performance overlay where you can measure your performance in game and look at things such as pc latency there's new ai game visuals or rather filters that obviously you can see here change the way your game looks quite significantly with ease literally one click and it's also got this discover section at the bottom where you can try nvidia's other applications such as geforce now their broadcast feature which does sound pretty cool as well as frame view and just a ton more oh and another thing that's great is you no longer have to log in to to access the NVIDIA GeForce experience. As you can see, I'm not logged in. Before to use the application, you would have to log in as an essential step. Like you couldn't get around it. You couldn't be in guest mode like I am here. But if you are interested in the promotional stuff like this on screen, to redeem it, you can see you do actually have to log in. However, when it does come to the NVIDIA control panel, you'll notice inside the NVIDIA app, there's a lot of settings that are missing that are inside the NVIDIA control panel. You will not find those inside the NVIDIA app just just yet but I imagine in the future they will be there but that's okay as right now it seems that Nvidia are just trying to replace the Nvidia app with the GeForce Experience app which is why you can have both of them installed as you can see on screen here I've got the app itself and then the control panel both installed at the same time the only thing that happens is when you do install the Nvidia app it does get rid of the Nvidia GeForce Experience automatically so if you want to go ahead and get this app for yourselves just literally google Nvidia app and then you'll see the first one it'll be an nvidia.com link and when clicking on that you can see you can go ahead and simply download the beta with ease and after you have installed it just make sure before installing you check the system requirements so you don't have any issues you can see here the operating system support is pretty good it doesn't require too much ram either no disk space the only thing is you do need a pretty modern driver however the cpu and gpu support isn't that bad either this is pretty reasonable if you do encounter any other issues it's most likely because the app is still in the beta phase is. It's not fully released just yet. As you can see though, if I open up the application, it opens up seamlessly, it's working great, and this will be the case for the majority of you. If you then go over to the driver section, you'll see you've got the option to update the latest driver, which is usually good practice as they do provide new updates and features that sort of fix bugs and optimize the latest games even more. However, for some people, this can cause issues and they tend to not update the latest drivers straight away and actually give it some time first to see what the general feedback is. I myself, I don't feel the need to update my driver to the latest one just yet. Next, if you go into the graphics section, you'll notice straight away we've got this brand new optimize button that allows you to click on any game and literally optimize it with just one click. You've got a performance and quality section. Obviously, the lower you put this down, the more optimized your game will be, but the less the quality will be. And if you scroll down, you can see the changes that it will indeed make. But I myself, I'm not actually a fan of this option i much prefer to go into the global settings and manually change all of these first setting we've got is the rtx digital vibrance option and you can see here that it states that it boosts visual clarity for your game using ai and i myself haven't had much chance to actually play around with this so as of right now i do keep this off and i do think that that's the best for performance right now uh, moving on to the cuda gpus obviously this one you want to make sure your main gpu is selected which is the default option as for the dsr factors i like to have this option off as for image scaling i have this off too but this can actually boost your fps the lower you have the rendering resolution but it will significantly affect the quality of your game so i actually don't have this on i have this off by default low latency mode this is an option i do have on by default it is off i either use on or ultra as this does make your game feel way more responsive it makes your game feel smoother as for max frame rate i keep this off monitor technology i keep this on g-sync compatible as that's what my monitor 
that does support, but you can use a fixed refresh rate if you'd like that. You probably want to use that if you don't have a G-Sync compatible monitor. Power management mode, by default, this is on normal, and I think this does work best for my GPU and just system overall, but I have heard of some users getting a pretty good FPS boost via using the maximum performance option. For the shader cache size, by default, I think this is pretty low at like four gigabytes, I believe, which I believe translates to the game not remembering a lot of its surroundings as it would if it was on like unlimited, which as you'd imagine would allow it to actually remember a lot more surroundings and hence load in quicker and have less stuttering. So that's why a lot of people tend to use unlimited on this setting. However, for me, it seems that the default is good enough, so I'm not going to change it right now and just leave it on the default. And then as for the vertical sync, I let the 3D application make its mind up for this, or I rather have it off. And then I also have the virtual reality off as well. Next up, we've got the redeem setting. And like I mentioned earlier, this just has promotions in it. It's not that significant. And finally, we've got the settings option. Inside system, you've got details about your system specs. And if you scroll down, you've got the features where you can enable and disable them. For these, I recommend enabling the ones that you use and disable in the ones that you don't use. So I don't use the game filters or photo mode, so I'll go ahead and turn these off. And at the bottom as well, I also like to turn off this scanning feature too. However, if we go into notifications, I've heard that when these notifications do appear, so that's driver updates and available rewards, they can cause slight lag spikes. So as a general rule of thumb, I like to disable the driver updates and available rewards and have them both disabled. And then we've got about, which doesn't really have much information. It does have this privacy option, which I like to disable but i disable all privacy options in windows and just everything in general then after you've done that you can open up your nvidia control panel then head into the 3d settings and customize them all to be what i've got on screen which are all optimized from this video that i'll have a link to in the description below but that right there has been a quick rundown of a new nvidia app and the best settings i've found for it so far as of right now it does definitely replace the geforce experience app as a new interface and settings for the overlay are just way better however when it comes to the nvidia control panel it definitely doesn't replace this as as a lot of these settings are just not available on the nvidia app like the texture and filtering and many more so as of right now i'm going to be using both of these apps and obviously configuring them both to have the best settings if the video helped out feel free to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel and use my code in the item shop if you do play fortnite i'll catch you all in the next video and feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now